Hey, how you doing? My name is Gerald from Health and Wealth is Yours, and today's video is about how to grow your business correctly. And the one thing that I know to be true without a shadow of a doubt is that you are going to have to be patient with your business. Your business will grow, but you need to nurture it. It's like a newborn baby. You give it the right things to grow, just like your business. You have to nurture it. You have to feed it. You have to do what you have to do to let it grow the right way. And understand that you don't go into business anticipating being a millionaire tomorrow or the next day. What you do, you go into the business knowing that it's going to take a while for that business to grow. This is how you do it. And I want you to listen very, very carefully to the strategy. You don't go out and and say to yourself, I'm going to build the biggest business with the big, with the most amount of people under me and uh, I'm going to make $10,000 an hour, you know, first month out. No, you're not. <laughs> okay? <laughs> what you want to do is this. What you want to do is take that one person, take that one person and make that person a rock star. Teach them how to talk to people. Teach him how to uh, market on the internet. Teach him how to give the cards out. Teach him about the product knowledge. Give him the books that you've read. Pass them down. I think the greatest gift is the gift of knowledge. Pass down your whatever book you've read. Even if it's marked up or whatever, give it to that person. Or buy, the, or buy them their own. You know, you have to invest in that one individual. And this is what happens. And it's an amazing thing. Once that one individual is just like you, that takes the time out, to nurture his business, which is that person that's going to be below him. When that, when that person takes time out to introduce this business the correct way, not saying you're going to get rich overnight, when that person is real with the people that they come across and the people that they want to train with, then what happens is you have such a solid foundation within your organization that people, one, will stay in the business because they know the reality and they understood by your example, how to do the business correctly. Now, when I say it's going to take patience, it's going to take a lot of patience because if you work on one or two or three individuals, take them under your wing and teach them how to do the same, it's going to be longer. However, those people are going to be long people. When I say long people, there are people that come into the middle of the marketing company and then leave next week because they didn't, they weren't taught the proper way to nurture their business. They weren't taught the proper way to feed their business. And when I say nurture and feed, I mean they weren't taught how to, what books to read. They weren't given audio books so that, that, that their car is now a uh, mobile university. They, they weren't taught how to educate themselves and how to understand how powerful they are as an individual so that they can go forth and create their own business the way they want to. You have to nurture your business. And in order to do that, you need patience. So this is Gerald. I hope this helped. Patience is key in any business. Learn it, love it, live it. My name is Gerald. This is um, from Healthy Wealth is Yours. I hope this video helped. God bless.